this is my um, first dog I ever had. And I just found this in a drawer lately and this little dog has shown up in my paintings because it's such an odd photo. And I'm looking at the look of the dog, the eyes, there's snowflakes coming down, the gesture, I like shadows. And I've always liked uh, spotted animals, horses and, and dogs. So this dog's showing up in my paintings. I'm looking for the gesture, um, the expression. I don't want anything to look like a snapshot. I want it to be artful and very intriguing in some way. I've studied a lot of photographers, and so I'm very interested in street photography and the decisive moment when somebody does something or gestures a certain way. My name is Patricia Canelake. I'm an oil painter, and I also do printmaking and chocolates. The artistry of chocolate is it has to look very lush and shiny and it has to be tempered. So we want a certain swirl on them. The turtles are one of our best, um, most liked chocolate here. We just try to get it just right, just like my grandfather and my father did, so. Everything's kind of a labor of love. And with that special swirl, um, the visual part is always considered, and then of course they're delicious. And if it doesn't look good, it just doesn't fly. So any kind of major thing that I'm involved with, I think it's the medium itself, the lushness, the shine, the look, the properties that are really pushing me along. Um, the oils seem real to me. They're the real thing. It's something that will dry eventually. I can still move it around. I can add more medium and float another color on top of another surface. I have some deep, dark areas. I have some thick, lush areas, and I have some transparent areas. I also have some drips. There's no rules, I don't think, that say, um, you know, I'm gonna make a lush painting, the whole thing's gonna be lush. I put lush paint in areas that I want to, and other areas might look dry or thin, but that's purposeful. I'm doing that on purpose, and I have to kind of always think about that. People think I'm a messy painter, but I'm actually kind of clean, despite my hands. So I'm very picky about the color and, and how it's on there, even though people would look at the painting and maybe think otherwise, like I'm just doing this. I'm not really, I'm thinking very carefully about every stroke and every placement of the paint on, from the brush to the canvas. And I have a love for contrasting colors so that within a painting I like a bright white, a deep dark tone, and then a very bright bright. So whatever color mode I'm in, I paint that way. When I get new paint, I'm, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> so this is one of my new favorites. That's a manganese blue. I'll squeeze every bit out of there and I'll just, if I want to a feel good day, I'll order paints. I have a very big fondness for line and drawing. So a lot of my paintings, you'll see um, a line drawing in there basically. And it's not that I make a line drawing and then paint around it, it's just that the line is always there for me. So you'll see a line coming from a dog to a horse or a figure pulling or pushing something. And that's what I finally figured out late in my career, that that's been my overall theme, is this kind of push and pull um, lines between objects and subjects. And it's just a connecting device, but it works in a very simple way to create meaning. I have my um, exuberant side and I have my introverted side, and I think it shows up in many ways in the paintings. I'm very much into the figure the human being 
and the animals um, are a little bit human for me too. Really art is who you are and how you think and what you see and that's I guess that's a cane like right there. <laughs>